What's up guys, Drew with Profit Monsters here and we are back to the bins, baby. <laughs> it's like my almost first time back to the bins since quarantine has happened, uh, the virus, everything that you guys know is going on. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. I got my mask for all you people that are concerned and I'm ready to go. I'm meeting up with some friends, thrifting with Kyle's here, my buddy Brownie Sunday Vintage. We're meeting for the first time. We met on Instagram through a group called Bob's Board. Shout out Bob Dabra. If you are watching this, uh, Josh, I'm really excited. We've become pretty good friends on Instagram. So hopefully we're gonna hit up um, find some good stuff today. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, I'm a full-time reseller. I do this 100% of my uh, income. It comes from resell. But let's get into the bins. Let's have some fun. You guys know if you've been watching my channel for a long time, my store won't let me record inside. So I'll try to get a couple random shots here and there, uh, just like some things that I pulled and hopefully do a haul at the end. So hope you enjoy this video. All right, walking up, there's a line guys, but hopefully we're gonna get here. But my man, Josh, there he is, the man. What's up, let's fist bump for the video. How you been, man? I need to get wrong. All right, here's the first drop working with. I just kind of went through everything. Josh is going through his stuff. I got some Birkenstocks. These are three shoes I'm waiting for. I got some Vans, some area boots that are in really good condition. Those should sell well. And I got these tiny little OG baby Jordans. Look at these things, so cool. And then I got some really good stuff in here. I got this Wrangler cowboy hat, Bakugan. Got a little Nike made in the USA tag. Some color block shorts, some Carhartt jeans. Um, this is a Nike jacket that I'm going to try to get the school logo off of this because this is a really nice Nike team sports with a packable hood. So I should be able to do pretty good on that. Got a nice little vintage flower sweater. Nothing crazy. But this right here, guys, I can't wait to show you this when I get home. Double-sided wrap tee, Bob Marley, Patriots, and a cool little color block jacket. But this right here, guys, that's the banger. All right, guys, we're walking out of the outlet right now. Got the haul loaded up in the car. I just kind of went in and double-checked everything. Um, but I got someone that wants to buy this Bob Marley wrap tee from me already. So let me show it to you because I might end up selling it before I even get home. So let's take a look. All right, here it is. I don't want to mess it up, but let me lay it out real quick. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw it, of course. But here it is, Bob Marley wrap tee in all its glory. First time ever finding something like this, so this is pretty cool. Got beautiful fade on it. No holes or stains, which is just amazing. And the back it says, no woman, no cry. Everything is going to be all right. Just beautiful, man. Such a cool shirt. So size XL. Like I said, I think I got a buyer for it already. So I wanted you guys to see that before I do the rest of the haul. Pretty dope though. This is why I love coming to the bins. All right, guys, we are back at the house. I got my bins finds laid out for you guys. I'm gonna show you the haul real quick. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I feel like I got some good stuff. So I'm really excited to show you guys. We'll start with clothing first. So I got these pretty cool color block shorts right here. Um, I don't really know anything about the brand. It just says McGregor on the tag, but they're size XL, summer's coming up, and these are just like really neat color block uh, shorts with this nice little hit on the side that just says McGregor active. So I thought they were cool and they weigh like nothing. So I'm probably thinking maybe 20 bucks on those. This is just a nice gray tag, um, Nike swoosh zip up jacket right here. No spell out on the back, but anytime I find Nike stuff in clean condition, I like to pick it up. It should sell pretty easily. This one is uh, one of those pieces that I like just decided to take a chance on. It's one of those like vintage sweaters, sweatshirts, and it's got like the little kind of turtleneck double collar. I don't know what you would call it, but it's just got a really cool flower graphic on it. And then it also has a little hit on the sleeve here. It's hard to see. It's also starting to rain, so sorry if you can hear that. But uh, it's got a little hit on the sleeve, which is cool. This is made in the USA on an old jerseys tag right there. So pretty excited about that. It should be a fun little piece to throw up on the Depop store. As I explained at the bins, um, I got this Nike uh, with the packable hood team sports windbreaker jacket. This is uh, Okoe soccer. This is a, like a high school team near 
uh, where I live, but it's on, it's got like, um, it's almost like a patch stitched on there. So I should be able to take that off. Uh, if you don't follow Eric the College Picker on Instagram or YouTube, you should. He did a tutorial video on how to remove these. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see uh, if I can get it off. I think it'll be a great Nike jacket to resell if I can get it off. Uh, this was a dope jacket that I found, just a really nice G3, um, like uh, leather colored, color blocking jacket. It's like purple on the back, blue on the front, and green on the sleeves, which is just crazy. Um, and this is made in China, but it's got a really big like um, G3 tag right there. And um, I have another one of these similar, which is like the Atlantic Beach Leather Company listed for, I think, $89. So I should be able to do pretty good. It's like quilted on the inside. Pretty happy about that one. Next is this New England Patriots uh, crew neck sweatshirt. This is just on an NFL tag. Nothing crazy, but it's just a nice classic one. Big size too, probably a 3XL. The tag's a little faded. It's either 2X or 3X. Uh, it's 3X actually, it's right there. So I should be able to do pretty good on that. Next up, this is just one of those things I'm willing to hold for a little bit. It's just a really nice Columbia zip down jacket um, with the fleece lining on the inside. There's nothing uh, crazy about this one, but I feel like on a good day in the winter time, this is like a 30 to $40 jacket all day. Um, it's a good size, it's a men's XL. So should be able to make some good money on this one. Next up, I'm not sure what this is, but it's got the little graffiti brand spell out on the sleeve. This is some type of DC uh, Comics logo graphic. Forgive me for not knowing. I don't know if it's Green Lantern or if it's, you know, one of those characters. But uh, anyway, it's on a Hanes heavyweight tag, which is a little bit older. So I'm going to do a little research on it. Hopefully, I'm thinking probably 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. This was a really cool find right here. These vintage like Nike hoodies are really popular right now, made popular by Travis Scott for the center swoosh, like right under the, the uh, hood right there. But this one's got the side, let me see if I can pull it a little closer. There's the swoosh right there. It's got like what people call the perfect amount of fade. You can see right around the neck, it's like faded and kind of torn, uh, but there's no major holes in it. It does have like some marks and, and stuff on it, but overall it's pretty nice there's like a little stain right there but I don't know why but people like that distressed look um, and it's kind of just like a perfect little like brownish grayish olive green faded color I don't know what you would call it but um, oh this is actually one of the reasons why I picked it up white tag Nike made in the USA so this is an authentic like 90s Nike hoodie um, they make a lot of these new now and they're not worth as much as the older ones. So pretty cool to be able to find one of those at the bins. Sometimes they can go for like 50, 60 bucks. So I got this little North Face piece right here. This is a women's medium, just a really nice, um, I forget what this model is called. You'll have to forgive me, but um, just a really nice piece, red and black, no rips or tears or stains. And I'll probably hold on to this one. I will always list winter stuff, but I will probably end up having to hold it till close to winter, but should be able to pull anywhere from 25 to maybe even 40 bucks for it. Second to last piece of clothing, this cool little vintage LSU crew neck uh, sweatshirt right here, like a pullover on an old resort tag. Um, this is just a nice little piece, nothing crazy, but should be able to pull about 25 bucks out of it. And last but not least, I got this super cute vintage uh, kids size four youth denim guess jean jacket. It's so hard to see this tag. I'm trying to get it to focus for you guys, but it doesn't want to focus, but it's made in the USA. A really old guest jean jacket for a little kid. Someone who wants to look cool, match their dad or mom, got the guest patch on the back made in the USA. Really cool. Speaking of young people, these baby Nikes right here. Uh, I have to get down to show you guys these because they're pretty cool. So these are original 1986 Nike uh, baby infant shoes. I don't know the exact model. I'll um, have to look it up and maybe get back with you guys on that or you can do the research yourself. But these are 1986 and someone has another pair listed without the laces for $189. 
And um, so I'm gonna list mine for 199 since I think these are original laces based on the discoloration and stuff, but they are surprisingly extremely clean. With the Nike spell out on the back, you don't really find that very often. So really happy, really excited about these little baby shoes. I mean, look how tiny they are. They're so cute. I can, uh, if I don't sell them, I'll just keep them and hang them in my rear view mirror, honestly. Next up, I got this like Hawaiian pair of Vans right here. Um, they are in really good shape. You can see the bottoms. It's like, I'm trying to get a little closer for you guys. The bottoms are in really good shape and uh, just a cool little like Hawaiian themed tropical graphic. Uh, Vans sell really well for me right now. So I got these Air Jordan mids. These are really nice. Um, they, they're a little dirty, but they need to be cleaned up. But there's like no heel drag on them whatsoever. So pretty pumped about that. And I should be able to pull somewhere between like 50 to maybe 75 bucks for those. I got a pair of Nike Air Maxes right here. I think these are 2015 or 2016s, um, 2015, but uh, in good shape, no uh, popping on the bubbles, and they're overall really clean with the laces. I love finding shoes like that. This was interesting. This is a pair of Vans that's brand new with the tag, uh, but they're a little dirty on the, on the lowers. And then on this shoe on the inside, there's like a bleach stain going across it, which I actually think is kind of cool. It almost looks like an orange, like flamish type of color. So I'm going to actually try to do like a little bleach job on these and maybe just customize them, mess with them, have some fun with them. I mean, I only pay probably what, three or four bucks for these. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can sell them, uh, maybe just with a different pattern, but pretty cool to find vans with the tag still on them. Got a really nice pair of Berkey's. Uh, if you don't sell Birkenstocks or you don't know about them, you need to know Birkenstock is a great bolo brand. They are in like almost immaculate condition other than that they've got a little bit of like foot markings, but that's typical for Birkenstocks. Uh, but these are in really, really good shape. There's like no flaws on the material or the straps or anything like that. Should be able to probably pull about 40 bucks for those. This was more of a gamble, but I mean, they literally weigh nothing, so... These are some Polo Sport uh, flip-flops right there. Sorry, my lighting is really bad in my living room, but because of the rain, I've tried to do it out here. Polo Sport flip-flops. I just figured I'd get these and throw them on Depop because Polo Sport is hot. Um, and I don't know, maybe I could pull 20 or 25 bucks out of these, and I can't imagine I paid more than 50 cents for them in weight, if that. So uh, next pair, I got these Nike Roshis. These are black on um, black. There's a little bit of wear on the bottom, but there's no rips or tears. Very, very clean shoes. I don't have to do anything to them. I can just take pictures of them and, you know, call it a day. I mean, I should be able to pull 30 to 40 bucks for these easy. And finally, the last pair is these Ariat or Ariat boots. I don't know how to pronounce them, but these are, let me show you the name brand right there. Ariat, Ariat. These are a men's work boot, size nine and they are in really good shape. Um, the minimum price that I'm seeing on something like this is about 60 bucks. So I might be able to even pull more than that if I'm lucky, maybe somewhere between 60 to 80. So overall, I'm really happy with these boots. They're in great condition and uh, hopefully they'll find a good home. So there you go, guys. That's my haul. That's literally from like one and a half drops. I only made it for the first drop from the very beginning and then I went back for a second drop um, after I went and grabbed something to eat and didn't really get much footage there because I didn't get a whole lot on the second trip. But anywho, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section. The bins are back, baby, so I'm excited about that. I'm stoked about that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, going through the haul with me. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace, money!